name is Natalia and today I'm going to show you how to make this awesome looking Magikarp necklace here. It's a tiny little Magikarp trapped inside a pokey bottle. And as you can see, it actually moves around inside of it. Isn't it cool? And uh, this DIY is also a collab with the wonderful and super sweet young lady at Fashion Nation. She is so inspirational and she is such a sweetheart. So if you want to, you can go ahead and check out her channel, Fashion Nation. And this collab is based around this little Magikarp here, but I never planned it to be this tiny. Um, this is actually a plan B because I had a whole nother DIY that I was so close to finishing but um, some of the materials didn't really want to corroborate. That's why I had to ditch the whole idea and ditch the whole DIY and find a plan B. But I'm actually pretty excited about this. This looks awesome! And you can either create this for yourself or for another Pokemon enthusiast because who wouldn't wear this? Honestly. And if you want to see some more of these kind of DIYs in the future, be sure to subscribe to this channel. And if you're ready, let's just get started! Now mix the orange and the red polymer clay to create a darker shade of orange. Once the colors are mixed, create an almond shaped body. You can wipe your fingers off in some tissue paper so you don't transfer the colors. Then take the white clay and then knead it a little bit to soften it up and then flatten it out on the table. Then take your box cutter and then carve out the letter C and then two triangles. Now they all need to shrink so cut some of the body off to make them smaller. Then take the letter C or the tail and then shape it more into the letter C. Then take each of the small triangles and shape them into small hearts. Then take the yellow clay and knead it to soften it up, then flatten it out and then carve out two small buckets. Then in the larger end of the small bucket, carve out three small spikes. And carve out small spikes on the other bucket as well, but this time you need to create four spikes. And that's Magikarp's fins or crowns! Then take another piece of the yellow clay and then roll it into a long, thin sausage. Then take your box cutter and then cut it twice. Roll them for a bit and there you have Magikarp's mustache! Then take a small piece of the white clay, roll it into a ball and then cut it in half. Then take one of the halves, roll that into a ball and then cut it in half again. And there you have the eyes! Now take some of the red and the white clay and then mix them together. And then roll that into a sausage as well. This will be his mouth, but leave it be for now. Then take the pointy end of the body and cut an opening with your box cutter. Try to open the gap a little bit and then place the tail right into this opening. And then try to close it up around it. Now take your box cutter and then cut it open on its head because you need to place the crown in it. So take the crown with three spikes and then place it into the gap. And then close it up around it. Then turn it around and do the exact same thing. Then take the hard shaped fins and then place them right on the body. And then push down to make them stick. Then turn it around and do the same thing on the other side. Try to make its face a little bit more pointy before placing the lips around its mouth. Then cut off the excess sausage and then make the ends meet. Then take the small eyes and then place it right between the fins and the mouth. Then take the yellow mustache and then place it right beside its mouth. Then 
Now it's time to bake it, so bake it as long as the instruction says. When it's done baking, let it cool down. And I forgot to make his pupil, so I have dotted some on with a permanent marker. Fashion Nation taught me how to make these Pokeballs here, so go ahead and check out her video, where she also teaches you how to make a gory and Pokemon inspired Halloween makeup. Take your needle and then poke it through the Pokeball, so your eye pin is easier to insert. Then take the eye pin and then push it through the top of the Pokeball. Then take your needle once again and then push it through the cork lid. And use your plier to pull it out because that might be difficult. Then take the eye pin with the Pokeball on it and then push it through. Now we need to make a hole right underneath Magikarp's crown. So thread your needle, then place the needle right underneath its crown and then push through. And again, use your plier to pull the needle out. Then make one end of the thread shorter and then tie two knots. Then try to center the knot and the thread so it's right above the crown. Then cut off the excess thread, but not too close to the knot. Now we need to make another eye on the eye pen, so take your cutting plier and then cut some of it off. Then use the other plier to make the second eye. Now push your thread through this new eye and then pull the string. Place the lid back on the bottle to see where the bottom of the lid is. You can even take a marker and then mark its placement in the bottle. Then take the lid out and then place it right beside the mark. Then pull the thread to pull the fish closer to the lid. This way you will know how long the thread should be inside the bottle. Lay it down on the table and then cut the excess thread off. Then tie two or three knots on the eye and you can use some pliers if it's too difficult by hand. Then cut the remaining thread off, but not too close to the knots. The last thing to do is to open the eye on the Pokeball to insert the necklace, then close it up again. Then place your fish inside the bottle. And that's it! Your Magikarp Poke Bottle is done! A big thanks to Fashion Nation for doing this collab with me and I really hope you enjoy watching and thank you for the like and if you made this necklace here let me know on the social media down below because I would love to see yours and if you want to see the upcoming videos you need to subscribe and be a part of our lovely new eye family here at the Blue Super. So subscribe and I'll see you soon with more ideas. Bye!